we've been looking at mid-sized cities in New England that had not fared so well over the last 50 years. And we asked ourselves the question, why communities hadn't been more successful? And we found that it really wasn't in the data. It really came down to how well communities were able to collaborate together. And that collaboration wasn't just having one good mayor or one good nonprofit or one good business leader. It was really all three of those coming together in a way that gave that uh, community some real guidance as to where it was going to go five and ten years down the road. So the process starts like this. The Federal Reserve lays out some clear criteria. They need to put together a cross-sector team. They need to, to, to have an initiative that focuses on low and moderate income people and that's transformative. And they need to be able to change systems, not just focus on an individual program. And the first step is for Vermont communities to raise their hand and say, yes, we want to build on our strengths and find new economic opportunities for our residents. And the response was resounding. Communities from all over Vermont submitted applications, spent time planning and working and coming together around a shared vision for the future of their economies. It will provide the, the means to communicate out to our greater community about who's left behind and what are the challenges that we need to um, overcome and support them with in order to be successful. We were really excited about seeing the embedded values of community engagement and the embedded values of a long-term systems approach to problems and not a project approach to problems. So what makes me excited about the Working Communities Challenge is that we have such dynamic, vibrant communities here in Vermont folks that are connected to each other and the place, systems of support that already exist. And what the challenge really allows is those communities to build on the le local resources that already are in place. Vermont communities have some wonderful work going on. They have a collaborative spirit that's built into their DNA. What the challenge is going to help them to do is to invest in that and to build it and to grow it. What we appreciate about the process is that it enables the impact to be self-defined. Mm -hmm. uh, it enables communities and regions in Vermont to say, this is about us with us. Uh, this is not about us without us. It's not a top-down model. It's our model. And this seems like one of those moments in time where ha we have an ability to influence um, how our communities choose to shape themselves going into the future. It's amazing that the teams have been able to invest in long-term planning and bringing together their teams while they've also been responding to COVID. The teams of cross-sector leaders that are at the table in Vermont are also the ones who are making sure that families had internet access and that elderly people had food and that there was protection available for the essential workers who needed it. Now we're excited to say we have four extremely strong teams from Greater Barrie, from Winooski, Springfield, and Lamoille County. The Federal Reserve and the Vermont-based steering committee has great belief that these teams will do great things together. I mean, really, in some ways, the work is just about to really begin, and that's yeah. exciting.